Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hajin Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. Okay, a quick announcement. This will be the last week on Steemit that crypto analysis will be provided. As I've already announced, all crypto analysis will be transferred to Bitcoin Live. That platform will be fully dedicated for crypto analysis as well as education. So, just wanted to let you know that this is the last week, and if you would like to get some more information about the Bitcoin Live platform and what it is, what it entails, and how to sign up for the very heavily discounted Founders Annual Membership, please use the link that I provided on this post to learn more about it. I welcome you to. Go to the site, sign up, get more information, send in questions. Okay, so back to Bitcoin. Overnight price decline. This triangle, the bottom line of the triangle, has been decisively, decisively been breached. And it was, as I said, there was a possibility of that D wave breakout. Basically, what I would do is I would just simply Bring this right here like, like this. But let's get rid of that for now. Update the chart. I had been calling for one more lower low, and basically we do have that one more lower low. Now it can be potential that this one, two, three, four, and could this be five? Oh boy, that, if that's five, that is a that's almost a truncated fifth. Although it is not, because it did do a lower low. So I think it isn't finished. It will probably come back as it tried to back up to the belly of the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle. But I think it has a little more to go. So let's see if we can update the counts as clearly as possible. So we have probably a wave 4 right here, we can put it, and it was a D wave breakout, but for now, remember not every triangle requires A, B, C, D, and E. Just because it takes a tri uh, triangle pattern does not mean it requires 5 subwaves. That's why I've been saying there are good, a good number, maybe about a third, a good number of times when it's actually a D wave breakout, or breakdown in this case. And and if this is wave four, what do we have so far? Let's see. We can say we have I think this is higher here. So four needs to go there. Just by a skin of the teeth, but just to make it a stickler type. Let's put the four with the higher prices. If that's the case, and we probably have the onset of wave, um, oops, five of C in progress, and the subwaves of that would label something like this. We'll say this is one, two. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, these are not primary degree of trends. We need to change that. Let's bring it to minuscule. Okay. And lower this down here. And lower the C. So we have the A, B, C in play, A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So could we break 7,000? I think so now. Would I panic if that happens? No. In fact, in my humble opinion, the best time to buy will be at the terminal ends of the correction. Are we at the beginning of the correction here or at the terminal end? What do you think? Is this a good time to cast a entry, buy entry ladder, 
and such a ones or is the time to sell because it's going to maybe potentially go dip below 7,000 now having said this if price goes like that I would not have a single complaint <laughs> nada but however I think probability leans more towards if this Elliott wave here is a C wave of the ABC correction then we have one two three four and one more lower low now three could be the five also you could end over here absolutely why not in fact like I said yes technically you could end at where one is and start going up because we do have a lower low but that doesn't really pattern out the five impulse waves down I wouldn't be surprised if also there's a, another pattern of a downward wedge occurring like this and that place actually oops, price breaks out from the pattern to the upside like shown by the white arrow so here's the same chart in the longer term time frame the bull flag is still in action that ABC the five waves is one two three four five wave of C price went as low as is it's pretty much entered into the third cluster of support zone and I think like I described yesterday the sellers have been depleted by this cluster of support and this one and now with the third cluster of support coming in they don't have that much ammo left and I think once this is done once the 0.78 is hit or be a little bit beyond it even if we go to 0.88 which is in the middle of this cluster of support fine I think the upside turn on can be expected from this degree of longer term perspective what's changed not much yes it's gone lower we have the cup and handle the uh, cup and handle pattern is not invalidated still very active and valid and this cup and handle is combination with this very downward looking wedge from which it broke out consolidating and let's see if we can break out of this as well and I believe we can the bias is to that because based on the uh, symmetrical triangle trajectory of the MACD boy these lines are contracting more and more and there's no space for price to go down or up even for the MACD and they're going to be very close to the apex by June 12th or so and the breakout should be pretty impressive I hope you found this to be helpful and I hope it truly augments your analysis your due, due, due diligence thank you and have a great day